Hi, today I'm making some chocolate mousse, which you probably wouldn't think possible if you're a vegan, but thanks to chickpea water, also known as aquafaba, we can make quite a nice mousse-like consistency. So what I normally do is I use a supermarket own brand dark chocolate because it's less likely to contain milk and it's a bit sweeter, plus it's cheaper. So we've got 150 grams of that. I'll break it up into small chunks, although you don't need to be too uh, fastidious about it. And then what we do, we simply take it over to the hob. We have a pan of boiling water and we'll just carefully place the bowl over the pan. Obviously you can use a microwave if it's easier for you. So we'll just let this cool while we're preparing the chickpea water. This is the magic ingredient, the chickpea water, also known as aquafaba. We need about 120 mils, you'll get that from an average sized can. So I'll just pour this into the bowl. So now we'll whisk up the chickpea water, which if you're using an ordinary whisk like I am, will take about 15 minutes. I will fold the melted chocolate into the chickpea water. Just need a few additional ingredients and then we're good to go. So we'll take a bit of plant milk. I like to use oat, just a tiny dash. We'll take a teaspoonful of vanilla essence um, or extract and then a pinch of salt. And then we'll just stir it all together and pop it into glasses and put it in the fridge to set. fridge for an hour or so now. So now is the taste test. Let's try a little bit. Wow, just look at that texture. Not bad for chickpea water, eh? 